welcome back now we are here with another new point or new topic in marginal costing and the topic is break even analysis and cvp analysis and profit planning for two different years or periods the two different periods can be two days two weeks two fortnights two months two quarters two half halves of the year but the important thing is the length of the two periods involved is the same or equal and before solving the first problem let us memorize the basic assumptions of marginal costing or break even analysis which are important in solving this type of formula or say directly we have to consider the effect of their type of assumptions to solve this type of problem first is there is no change in selling price per unit during the period or periods under consideration number 2 is there is no change in variable cost per unit during the period or periods under consideration as a result of these two there is no change in contribution per unit during the period or periods under consideration as as a result of the thing that contribution per unit and selling price remain constant or unchanged the profit volume ratio the pv ratio will remain constant during the period or periods under consideration number 4 is there is no change in the total amount of fixed cost during the period or periods under consideration and there are no opening or closing stocks during the period or periods under consideration now let us take the first case x limited furnishes the following information relating to the half year ending 30th june 2016 fixed cost given to be rupees 50000 sales rupees 2 lakh profit rupees 50000 projected loss of the second half of the year 2016 is given to be 10000 the company has projected loss because of reasons they know calculate number 1 pv ratio break even point and margin of safety for the first half of the year 2016 that can be calculated only on the basis of these three amounts number 2 calculate expected loss of the second half of 2016 assuming that there is no change in selling price variable cost and fixed cost also remain unchanged during the second half and the last number 3 calculate the break even point and margin of safety for the whole year combine effect of two halves so first we need to calculate for the first half only so number 1 calculations for the first half and first thing we need to calculate is pv ratio but to calculate pv ratio we should have contribution as well as sales we have sales we don't have contribution directly available but there are two ways either we can find contribution as fixed cost plus profit and we can use the formula pv ratio equals to contribution upon sales or we can substitute all these three in the formula available for calculation of sales value where the pv ratio is denominator let us take the second thing sales value equals to fixed cost plus profit upon pv ratio if we calculate sales quantity we take contribution per unit if we calculate sales value we take pv ratio but here sales value is available 2 lakh equals to fixed cost rupees 50000 plus profit rupees 50000 pv ratio is missing now change the subject and make pv ratio the subject of the formula pv ratio equals to the numerator will be rupees 1 lakh that is nothing but the total contribution on sales of rupees 2 lakh divided by sales 2 lakh see this is the format of original formula of pv ratio contribution upon sales so it comes to 0.5 or 50% that means in case of this company the contribution is 50% of sales and remaining 50% is variable cost number 2 now we can calculate bep and that will be break even sales value because we have no per unit information so we cannot have contribution per unit so we cannot calculate the break even sales quantity fixed cost upon pv ratio 
See, fixed cost here is nothing but total contribution because profit is zero at BEP, neither profit nor loss, so it is exactly zero. Rupees fifty thousand divided by fifty percent, and we all know that fifty thousand is fifty percent of rupees one lakh or hundred thousand. So BEP comes to rupees one lakh or one hundred thousand precisely for the first half of the year two thousand sixteen. Now we can calculate margin of safety. Margin of safety, that is the difference between actual sales and break-even sales. Margin of safety equals to sales or actual sales or budgeted sales, whatever you take minus BEP. That is two lakh sales given to be and BEP one lakh or one hundred thousand. So margin of safety is also. One lakh or one hundred thousand rupees. The results are possible in terms of value only because no information about the per unit selling price or per unit variable. Now, number two is calculate the expected sales of the second half of two thousand fifteen. Expected sales. So we need to calculate the sales for second half of two thousand sixteen. required sales see now we are going to use the same formula to find the sales that's why we are using the term required fixed cost plus profit that is total contribution divided by pv ratio yes remember there is no change in selling price no change in variable cost per unit so there is no change in contribution per unit and since there is no change in contribution per unit and selling price per unit there can be no change in the pv ratio So in the second half of 2016 also the PV ratio as well as the fixed cost will remain same because there is no information about any change in fixed cost or selling price or variable cost. Rupees fifty thousand the fixed cost for the second half. Now for the second half the company has projected a loss of rupees ten thousand so it is minus ten thousand. Divided by PV ratio fifty percent, so it comes to rupees forty thousand divided by fifty percent, and we all know that forty thousand is fifty percent of eighty thousand. So the projected sales or expected sales of second half of the year two thousand. Sixteen is rupees eighty thousand. Now the third calculation expected is for the whole year. Two thousand sixteen. Now first of all, fixed cost for the whole year will be fifty thousand for the first half plus fifty thousand for the second half. Rupees one lakh or one hundred thousand. This is the first effect of the assumption. No change in fixed cost. But if it is fifty thousand for the first half of the year, then it must be rupees fifty thousand for the second half of the year. So for the whole year, it must be rupees one hundred thousand or one lakh. Similarly, there is no change in selling price and no change in PV ratio, or no change in variable cost. So no change in contribution per unit, and hence ultimately no change in PV ratio. So for the first half, the PV ratio was 50%. Since selling price and variable cost remain unchanged, PV ratio remain 50% for the second half. But mind well, for the whole year, it cannot be 50% plus 50% 100%. PV ratio can never be 100% because from sales we have to write off variable cost, but it remains 50%. The same selling price in first and second half, the same variable cost in first and second half. So the same contribution per unit in first and second half. As a result, the same PV ratio in the first and second half, and for the whole year. Now we can calculate BEP first of all for the whole year. Again, it will be break-even sales value only. It will be now rupees one lakh divided by fifty percent, and we all know. 
one leg is 50 percent of rupees two leg. So break even point for the whole year is rupees two leg. It is logical. Break even point for the first half was one leg. Break even point for the second half also can be one leg because there is no change in fixed cost, selling price, variable cost, contribution, PV ratio. But actual sales can change because it is a reality. It is. It can never be. Expected that if the sales in the first half is two lakh, it can be two lakh in the second half also. No. Now we can calculate the margin of safety sales minus BEP. But for this purpose, we should take sales for the whole year. For the first half, it was two lakh. For the second half, it was. It is going to be eighty thousand. And minus BEP, the BEP for the year two lakh. So ultimately, it is something like two lakh eighty thousand total expected sales of the year minus BEP two lakh. So margin of safety for the whole year comes to rupees eighty thousand. Since the company is going to make a loss in the second half, the actual sales or say sales for the second half must be less than BEP. Yes, it is. And ultimately, we can reconcile that. Margin of safety eighty thousand multiplied by PV ratio fifty percent. So for the whole year, company is going to earn a profit of rupees forty thousand. For the first half, the company has already earned fifty thousand profit. For the second half, the company is expecting loss of ten thousand. This loss of ten thousand will be return of against profit of fifty thousand first half. So at the end of the year, the net profit will be fifty thousand positive minus ten thousand forty thousand. That's all. Thank you very much.